you're going to find an email in your inbox called Constellation Display Files. You can look through the titles of these in order to pick out which two constellations you want to do. Uh, I'm going to click Dippers and click Download. You're going to want to make sure you know where that's downloading to and pay attention um, so that you can find that file. And once it's downloaded, you are going to want to open that file. And the first thing that you'll do when you open the file is you are going to want to save it as a new name. Um, make sure you know where you're saving it to. And whatever name you give it right now is the name that you're going to have to look for on the laser when you go to cut the file. So if I call this Mr. P's Dippers, that would be a good name for me. So that way I know which one I'm looking at when I, when I get that file. So I'm going to save that. It's going on the desktop. I know that. Then uh, you are going to look at this file. If you know what you're doing and you want to make a modification, you can, but otherwise it's pretty much set up for you. You're just going to go to File and Print. You're going to select the uh, epilogue engraver and click on Properties. Once you are in here, it's very important that you set the size to be 18 inches by 18 inches. Also very important that you have the auto focus button clicked and then you are going to go to click on vector which means that we're going to cut only. Uh, if it's combined means it would engrave and cut. We're just cutting so we're going to leave it on vector. So vector, auto focus, 18 by 18. We want the speed to be down about 20. We want the power to be up around 80 and then uh, leave the frequency alone. Click OK click apply and click print okay so you're gonna go to the laser and make sure it's turned on, on the left side you'll also want to flip on that switch on the wall which is the vent and also the compressor has a red switch on the ground you want to turn that on as well take your square of cardboard place it onto the bed of the laser make sure you use the rulers along the edges to line it up you want to be nice and snug against the edges of the rulers and then close the lid up what you're going to need to do next is find your job in the job list so push the job button if that's not already displayed and then you're going to use the arrows to rifle through the list and find the file name that you called your file when you find it press go the laser will move into position. If you have used autofocus correctly before you sent it to print, it's going to be trying to figure out where the cardboard is, and then once it does, it'll begin to cut. It should take less than a minute to cut out your stars for your display. You should have the vent and the compressor on during this time to make sure that the smoke is being pulled out of the room. When it's done, it's going to move back up to the upper left, and you can see that it's finished in 44 seconds, and you can lift up the lid and take your cardboard.